Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, today I wanted to show you a quick project for the master bedroom as we finish up our week with the space lift series on the master bedroom. Um, have you made any changes to your master bedroom? You doing anything in there? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about your space or how you're going to change it? Um, hopefully we are inspiring you to think a little bit outside the box with our series. So um, today I want to do something kind of different. Have you seen how everyone's using jewelry to decorate their room? So um, either draping it over a bust or having some cool hooks that their jewelry is on. So it's actually a part of the decor of the room which I thought is kind of cool, right? And my problem is that my jewelry, uh, I have a good bit of costume jewelry. It's all stuck in a drawer and it gets all tangled up and like, I don't even know what I have. I don't even see it. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to display it and to make it kind of a statement piece in my bedroom. So I'm going back to old windows. Um, by now, I think you know I love old windows. And a friend of mine actually made something that inspired this. Um, she used it for a wedding and she strung some pictures and little clippies across it. Here, let me show you what I've got going on here. So I've got an old window that looks like this. And one side is unfinished and the other side is white. So I want the white side to show because um, that'll match my room a little bit better and so she had like pictures hung this way at her wedding and I thought it was pretty cool and I was like hmm I think I could put we could put jewelry on it so so here's what you need so you need to start with an old window and we've talked about it before don't spend more than about ten dollars on an old window um, go to a place like the restore habitat for humanity or um, I don't know some construction type, you know, reusable construction products, supplies, store, and you should be able to find a window. And they're usually pretty inexpensive, especially if you get one that doesn't have very many panes. That seems to be the most expensive kind. Sometimes I find them on the side of the road if someone's getting new windows. So kind of look around, think outside the box on where you can find a window. So you need that. And this one obviously doesn't have the glass. Um, and then the other thing you need is some hardware cloth. Now, this looks like this, little tiny squares, um, about quarter inch squares, um, and we are just going to tack this with the staple bin to the window. I will say, you can just cut this with scissors, sharp scissors or um, tin snips, but I totally destroyed my finger on it earlier, so it is sharp, so be careful, okay? And then just get your handy dandy handheld staple gun. I love power tools, um, but sometimes all you need is a staple gun. So grab your staple gun and some staples. And then the only other thing, which we'll do in a little bit, are these little tiny, and I'm gonna have to get closer so you can see, little tiny S hooks like this. And this is what our jewelry is gonna hang off of, okay? So this is already cut to size. Like I say, a pair of scissors or tin snips will do. And then I'm just gonna start tapping it to the edges of the window. And it doesn't even like have to be straight because you're not really gonna be able to tell. Just real tight. And it's kind of a fun way to add some character to a room, like a bedroom. It would be great, a great gift idea for um, like a teenage girl or something. to the window thing where you can't find windows. Um, anything. What about an old frame? You could put totally, put this hardware cloth behind an old frame. And then a couple pieces of wood. You could just frame off three pieces of wood. So seriously. take my little S hooks here and they just are gonna slide right in there. And I got a whole bunch of them because I can hang up all my jewelry like this. See and then all of your necklaces, the earrings can go right in here and then you can 
can just see everything you have. So when you're running out the door in the morning getting dressed, you have all your pretty jewelry to pick from. Look at that. Now I know this thing in the middle, they're kind of sticking out. You, it's hard to see, I'm sorry. Um, but it just total, totally adds some character. Makes it super cute. It's a great way to display your things. Also, if you're um, a jewelry maker or vendor and you go to a craft, craft show, this would be a great way to display your items. So just think about things like that. I mean, I think old windows are so versatile, whether they have the glass or not. This is just something fun, fun way to use it um, and update your space a little bit. See, everything's all tangled up. This is my problem. It's going to take me like years to get all my stuff untangled, so we'll see. But I'll take a picture of this when I get it hung up on the wall. Um, don't forget if you've done anything in your bedroom this week or your entryway or your kitchen, all the areas we've already covered, make sure you share it using hashtag spacelift. We would love to see it. So I hope you're enjoying this series. We have one more week to go and we're talking about the dining room next, um, which is just in time for the holidays. So stay tuned on Roots and Rooms Furniture and also the Serene Space and we will catch up with you next week. So, um, oh, and also check out the blog post. I'm about to publish a blog post on rootsandwingsfurniture.com and it'll have all the videos compiled from this week there for you. So it'll be easy to find and um, you can update your bedroom. All right, y'all, so I hope you have a great weekend and I'm gonna go hang this up in your room. See you later.